Hello my art loving friends! I was contacted by Upcrate, as you can probably tell a lot of us YouTubers lately have been, asking if we want to try their boxes, and they sent this to me for free. And I am quite excited to dive in because I've seen several Upcrate unboxings on other channels that I watch, and they look like a great quality box and lots of fun, so let's get into it. They have sent me the March 2022 box. Let's see what's inside. I'm so excited. I have seen several upgrade unboxings and it looks like a very high quality box. You get a lot of supplies, definitely worth the value that you pay for them. <laughs> Weird supplies inside. The bottle pose. Da -da -da -da. Weird monsters I've seen so far. This is fun. How fun to not only get a box full of art supplies, but then you get a magazine that you can read all about art and art supplies. <laughs> I don't think you could ask for much better than that. That's pretty neat. Some stickers. Wow, look at that artwork. <laughs> very fun. And wow, a very nice sketchbook. It feels like watercolor paper. I'll have to read about that. Oh yes, this is the one with the Ecoline brush pen. So these are watercolor markers, basically. We have some Van Gogh paints in the color turquoise green and yellow ochre and indigo. Oh, indigo is one of my favorite watercolor colors. A Micron 10. Oh, I love the 10s because they are chunky, chunky monkeys. And a graphite pencil, just a regular 2B. What's in here? Da Vinci. Ooh, that's fancy. Nice feeling synthetic size six flat brush. Very cool. So I am not able to finish this here in my studio. I actually am going to have to take this stuff with me on a big trip. So I've gotten my little half pans out. I've labeled them, put magnets on the bottom. I'll put them in this tin that I made that originally had a bunch of my miscellaneous schminka paints in that, but that changed. So it just has these four left, which are kind of a mixture of schminka and other brand, so that's why they're still in here. So I'll just use that because it's a magnetic tin and these will stay safe. So I'm leaving tomorrow. They probably won't dry out enough, but I'll make sure to keep this flat. It is two days later, so change of scenery because we are in my trailer now. And back to the up crate. So let's see how the watercolors are doing. They flattened out quite nicely. It's just these three. I'm afraid to touch them. Okay, so they're soft underneath and have a nice thick skin on top. So they'll be perfectly fine to use. I still have the tubes in here, but whatever. So back to this bottle post. This tells you all about the art supplies in the whole beginning. And then it talks about the inspiration for this month's box, the artist who is behind it basically, and does an interview with that artist, shows some of their work, and then there's step-by-step -step tutorials. So if you wanted to just follow along, this tutorial you can. There's also a video tutorial but I don't have any cell service or internet here so I won't be able to do this. I was hoping to show that to you but I'm not even going to be home for another week and a half so no cell service, no internet. Anyway we'll have to run out to upload this video but I'm not going to run out, film this video anyway and show you guys whatever. Just go watch it. <laughs> All right and then there's just some things that you can do to play with the art supplies that are in this particular box and they give you a page to do that with. And it looks like there's a little bit on another artist. Very cool, using these supplies. So these are the winners of previous Upcrate battles. And then for the Upcrate battle for this month, you would have to post by April something and that's way long gone. So we won't be participating in that. Oh yeah, here we go, April 27th. This is the March box, but I just got it. So we won't be doing that. But this is a good test to see if you can take just your art subscription box and make some art out of it. But I already know you can't because this pencil came unsharpened. And when I was packing this up to leave for this trip, I was like, I can't use that pencil without a sharpener. So I grabbed this tiny little sharpener from home. I was just gonna see if it worked. I don't know that I'm actually going to even use a pencil though because I think I might just go right in with the Pigma Micron 10. So it looks like this sharpener will work just fine with this pencil if I want. Get our brush out. I do have my water pots filled here. 
So I'm hanging out in the town of Silverton, Colorado right now, and there are a lot of old mines and mine leftovers and all kinds of equipment to do with those mines, and I kind of thought it would be fun to do a little doodle like the artist that has to do with mining. I don't know a whole lot about mining, but I know there's buckets and tools and all of this that they probably used, and so one of them being a shovel. I have no way to look up photo references here without internet or cell service. So this is all coming from my head. Could be interesting. So let's do a shovel. The handle's a little off center, but you know, that's okay. We can fix that. There we go. Now it's on center. <laughs> and a pickaxe would be fun. I don't really know what one of those looks like entirely. So making that up as well. Give that a little bit thicker handle at the bottom. And one of those carts that they put stuff in like coal and stuff and roll it out on the tracks. No idea what that looks like, but we're going to make that up as well. And so far all of these are just going to be flat. Nothing's going to be three-dimensional here. That is not great, but that's okay. Wow, very sorry for that one. <laughs> And I'm thinking like a pile of rocks or coal, something like that would be kind of cool. It's kind of neat. I really love this thick marker, by the way. It's very fun to use. They also have a bunch of things with wheels and cables. I'm not sure. I just don't know enough about them to do a whole lot with that. Today, when we were out and about, I saw, let me see if I can draw it maybe here. I saw a cable going across the mountain and there's several cables, so we should do a few here. And off the cable was this thing hanging like that and it had like a bucket on it. That was neat. My bucket's crooked, but hey, some of this stuff is a hundred years older, so, so can have a little leeway here. What else to do with mining? I need to think. Um, maybe miner's helmet, probably? I don't know what that looks like either. That one's a little more 3D, but that's okay. Does that even look like a helmet? Not really. We'll put a light on it and a strap. There we go. So just to give you a feel of the area, here are some of the pictures I took today. This is my campsite here. My trailer and toys and truck and another picture of that. But we went over this pass called Stony Pass and it's at the Continental Divide. It's part of the Alpine Loop. And some of these pictures are just unbelievable. This is Kite Lake. So pretty, look at the cloud reflection. Might want to paint that. Feel free to screenshot that and paint it too. But if you do, email me, picture at alkalicreekart at gmail.com because I would love to see it. Info about the pass. This was just my first day here, so I haven't gone out and about much, but look at that. This area is gorgeous. Oh, and at the office here where we're staying <laughs> was this tiny Jack Russell puppy. She was precious. Absolutely precious. <laughs> so cute. Well, I don't know if I got any more inspiration or not, but the one thing there are a lot of here are creeks. So I don't know, like creeks and waterfalls. I don't even, how, how do you draw a creek and a waterfall with a, a micron? Like, I don't even know if it would look like anything. Probably not. What else could I draw? Like there's these, I should just do them because I keep thinking of them. There's these big wheel things that was a really bad circle. <laughs> we'll make that the inner 
wheel thing there. Anyway, I assume they're some kind of pulley system for something, but they're everywhere. They seem like they're everywhere. And like, do they have little lugs? I, I don't know. But they're really neat. They're kind of rust colored, which we don't have that color at all because they're made out of metal. Metal, metal. They're made out of metal. They're made out of metal. And of course they're all rusty right now because steel rusts. Okay, so there's that. Cave openings have like these beams. Cave, I say cave, they're mines. Whatever. Oh, in that picture of my camp behind there, we need to zoom in because there was something amazing back there. It is this picture here. Okay, so there is a mine back there. <laughs> so right across from our camp is this multi-level mine. Oh, it's amazing. So that is the Eureka mine. Anyway, I don't know how to draw that, but oh my gosh, I went through my beam with my line. Somebody come do this for me. Maybe we should just put some more shovels. <laughs> How about like a little, a tiny shovel, like a garden spade. That makes no sense here for mining, but oh well, that works. I don't know that, what that looks like exactly. A leaf with a handle. All right, maybe another little pickaxe going the other direction. So cute. Another shovel over here and probably another couple of rocks rocks everywhere here i mean that pass i just showed you guys was named stony pass after all right and it was stony <laughs> uh, we should probably put some rocks at the entrance to this thing here cover up some of those bottom lines perfect perfect what else can't believe i can't think of anything there's stuff all around me and i've been to so many mines growing up and through the years i can't think of anything we could do another little cart. A barrel, right? They had to barrel like beer and whiskey and water in, right? Just agree with me. Oh, my barrel is very much not symmetrical. That's okay. Maybe, maybe it rolled downhill. Uh, maybe another helmet. Okay. Now she just has random shapes and stuff. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'll just leave it like this, question mark. I kind of like the lines going across. Maybe I'll do some more cables over here. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, I didn't even test out these colors, but this looks like a good handle color. No, this has gold on it. That has some gold. They found gold there. Okay, we got some gold. Ooh, and the headlamp. And I bet this brush pen will make a good handle color. Yeah. Now you can use these with water. So you can like dip them in water and create a watercolor effect uh, if you want. Or you can put them down on the paper like this and then add water over the top of them. But you don't really need to for what I'm doing here. So there's that. I mean, I guess I could at least show that to you what that might look like. So we'll do that maybe on that. Okay, so water, the fancy brush they got. Yep, doesn't really move. So now that water's down on that paper, let's see what happens. Just diffuses the effect, that's all. So, I got a set of these in a previous art subscription box, these Ecoline brush pens, and I ended up giving them to my daughter-in-law because I just didn't find them very useful for what I like to do. They're a fun marker though, they feel really great. This is rusting blue, maybe? Oh, we should dip it, the tip in water like they suggested and see what happens. Okay, it just lightened it. All right, well, that's what that's gonna do. This black brush pen is just a black brush pen. I guess we'll do the, whew, that one's super juicy. Whoa, Nelly! wow, be careful with that one. Holy moly. We should try the watercolor. Yes, please. So this Brush X, this extinguishing solution, does not work on the watercolors. And I was told that it's just bleach, but I don't know. Let's see if it smells like bleach. It smells like a very mild version of bleach. Forgot our watercolor colors. Indigo, yellow ochre, and turquoise green. So let's do the indigo for in here. Ooh, 
It's pretty and this paper feels good. And the brush is nice. <laughs> yeah, I like all that. That's cool. Bleed that out. I usually really enjoy using Van Gogh paint, so this is a not a hardship for me, that's for sure. It's kind of interesting. The paper is almost reminding me of that one paper I used that wasn't sized, except this is acting better than that. It's just, it's reminding me of that, which I find interesting. All right, let's see what the yellow ochre compares to versus the marker. Let's do, let's do like that. So very similar color to the yellow ochre marker. What if we mix that with a little indigo? Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm having fun. And our other color, turquoise green. Well, I didn't get very much of that, apparently. Still didn't. I wonder if that's one of those more difficult pigments. What is this? PB15 and PB29. So not necessarily just being overpowered by the other colors. Let's mix this ochre with this turquoise green and see what weirdness we get. Oh, just like a normal green. Okay, we can do ground with that. Hey, hey, we got a normal green. But yeah, this paper is definitely better than that one book I was using. That video was called Not Watercolor Paper, and I can link that for you guys. But anyway, this paper is way better than that. It just has a unique feel to it. When I have an object like this that splits the scene, I kind of like to do both sides of it while I have that exact color on my brush so that at least both sides of an object look like they have the same color, at least generally. <laughs> As you can see right there, I dipped into that pile instead of taking it out of the little half pan like I was doing, and the color was already quite different. So things are drying quite fast on this paper, so may end up with some hard lines, but I think that'll go with the style of painting just fine. And I was trying to be creative with my color choices considering the limited palette that I had, so I did the best I could and I had fun doing it, but I was very much wanting other colors, but this was fun. I enjoyed this a lot and I'll let you enjoy the rest of this in peace. Let's take that brush X, see if we can get our light back. We'll give that a minute though to dry down. Should work on the black eco line marker, although the other videos I've seen, because I have seen a lot of these March videos. I was trying to avoid the June one, thinking they were probably sending me June, but I got March. Anyway, I've seen a lot of these, and the black kind of just goes to a bit yellow, but looks like after some time it did work quite nicely. And then let's give these... I can't remember. I think these rocks were paint, so I don't think this brush X will work. I wanted to give the rocks some highlights, but I think that was paint. Dang it. That would have been fun to see. <laughs> That's fun. And that one? And that one? Nope, not that one. Okay, so you can see it erases very nicely. Now I'm going to put the marker over the brush X and see what happens. If it will recolor it or not. Yep, it looks like it recolors it. Did not go through the paper at all. I am working on what feels like the correct side of the paper, by the way. I want to put those little marks kind of back in the shovels, handles. I think that was kind of fun. It's all wet now, so it's going to create a big mess. All right, guys, gals, ladies, gents, that's the upgrade box. <laughs> that was... I knew that would be fun. When I saw the artist and the doodle sketches and mine's nothing like that but I knew it would be fun. How can it not be when you're just doodling around? Did not use the pencil but hey we sharpened it. All right go get your sketchbook out and doodle. It is so much fun. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Just real quick they were supposed to offer me a discount code so I could offer you guys the discount code when I put this video up. But when I checked my email over at the office, I didn't have the discount code from them yet. So maybe you guys could just use this one just in case I don't get that from them before I have to put this video up. Got it? Got it? Okay, good. Also, I totally forgot to mention to you guys, unless I did it before I left home, that Upcrate, in my opinion, has a really great value of products for the money. So if you are interested in an art subscription box, you probably should check them out because I have been subscribed to Smart Art Box, 
palette full packs and I've bought a few just off the shelf. What are those called? Um, anyway, I have been subscribed to palette full packs, smart art box, and I've bought a few other just off the shelf, like when they had their specials. And from what I've seen online, watching people's videos and receiving this box is used to be $25, including shipping. I think they've had to raise it a tiny bit lately, but it still seems like a really great value for your money. And having the little art zine to read and getting a print and all of that is just awesome. So check them out if you are interested in art subscription boxes. Oh yeah, one more thing. My little palette that I made with the appliance wide I sprayed in there all by myself worked great as a mixing space, by the way. So definitely recommend that. I'm glad I brought this. Okay, so it looks like this sharper no sharp hmm. And we just had a light go out. I'm running these lights on battery packs and I thought it was all charged, but no, it's empty. Okay, well, I do have a USB port run off of solar in this trailer as long as the cord's long enough. We'll see, I can tell already the cord is not long enough. We'll go on one light. Actually, I do have, I don't have anything. So that made short work of that. It's probably good for me, probably good for me. We're gonna, aw, <laughs> we just killed the battery on our other light. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth filming right now without light. Let me see if there's anything I can do. These lights apparently do use a lot of battery because I know that battery pack was full. All right, that lights cord was actually able to reach the USB port over there in my camper. Did you find your bed, Jack? Did you find your bed? Yeah, you tired puppy. You tired puppy. Let me wear you out. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? <laughs> 